I'm gonna give my my pre consensus on this battle. I believe Superman is gonna win. I honestly, I believe that Superman Loki bodies Goku. I don't think this is a, a fair fight at all. I don't think they're close. And I hey, I'm a person that reads both and I watch both. Okay, I'm not just a nigga saying. Um, hold on, let's see right there. Okay, I'm not just a nigga saying like, oh, I'm a um. You know, oh, I just think Superman wins because he's stronger. No, 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 no. I read comics and I have proof. I read comics and I pay attention to DBZ, DBS. I read all of the manga of DBS. I'm caught up on it. I've watched all the shows and the movies. It's just I, I haven't seen anything Goku can do that Superman hasn't done already or, you know, Superman can't do. You guys say Ultra Instinct. I'll say Torkaz and Vo. Bro, that's, that's one of the things he's been able to do for a long time. Um, he's stronger, he's faster. It's just so many things that go into it, you know? So, like I said, I, I already kind of feel like Superman and Goku shouldn't be in a matchup. They're similar, yes, because Goku's story kind of is a little inspired by Superman, or inspired from Superman. But at the same time, I don't think I don't think he wins this. I think Superman dogs. But hey, let's see how they do this. Battle, so I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Son Goku Superman. It's time to answer the ultimate question, and we're taking it all into play. We're examining Superman's extensive mainline comic book canon. Given Dragon Ball Super's contentious continuities, we'll include all three just to be thorough, plus Dragon Ball Heroes. Plus hero that's non-canon though. Wait, so they're using all the canon Superman. I'm I'm guessing New 52, pre-crisis rebirth you know post crisis all that all that good stuff which is all main canon but then they're going out of you see you see how they start off you see what i mean they have to go out of their way to use non-canon for goku because goku can't keep up in his regular canon uh continuity and plus if you you know if you pay attention the anime and the manga are two different canons so it's like to analyze their weapons, uh, armor, and skills to find out who would win i mean i guess i guess though battle. i'm not mad at it i still think superman wins even the people who think Dragon Ball Heroes Goku wins, Zeno or CC Goku win. I don't think they win either. I believe he still wins that fight too. It's Superman, bro. If y'all haven't read Superman, then you, you know you know. You feel me? You have to read him. You have to. Goku's still a goat, though. Goku's still a goat. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think he'd be Superman. by Frieza and was raised on earth by happy old grandpa Gohan. Not just raised, but trained. Gohan began Goku's teachings in martial arts, which he would find to be his true calling under the guidance yes, sir. of Master Roshi. Specifically, he learned the Kame Senen Ryu style, which focuses on discipline and tenacity, both of which strongly... What are you using? Shalot too? Yeah. That's dope. The more he learned, the more he wanted to improve. This little low-class monkey boy would prove that hard work and dedication can beat raw talent. Within just a few years, he was so strong, the only worthy teachers left were gods. And a talking pet, but mostly gods. When you're training to dodge lightning, you know you're a few leagues over everyone else. He did have a slight advantage. Saiyans are naturally superhuman. Mm -hmm. They also take Nietzsche's famous words, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Zinkai very, boost. Very literally. It's almost unfair how much of a boost in power they get after they're hurt. While Saiyans like Vegeta may have abused this trait, it suits Goku. No matter how many times you knock him down, he will get back up stronger than before. It helps that he knows so many cool combat moves, like the Kamehameha! An incredibly powerful technique that focuses one's ki into a single point for a devastating beam. So challenging, it took Roshi decades to master, but Goku got it in like five seconds. It's incredibly versatile. With over 50 different variations. Yeah, For sir. example, Goku can curve the beam after firing. Well, they're giving him Hakai. He never actually perfected Hakai, though. He only tried to do it on Fuzamasu, and it didn't really work. One, because a lot of reasons. Because he's immortal. Two, because he was distracting. Three, because Goku didn't perfect it. Smart, he is a genius when it comes to martial arts. He doesn't just train to conquer his opponents, but to conquer himself. He's also got some different moves, like Mafuba. trapping you in a rice cooker. Well, pretty much any container could be used for the mop of a ceiling technique. Then there's Kaioken, aka instant. I don't think that'll work on Superman, though. It's evil containment. He's not evil. And in a movie, he even got it up to times 100. What a badass. The Genki Dama, or 
or spirit bomb is potentially his strongest attack, but it requires considerable time. Unlike instant transmission, which is a teleport that's and he's a key the signature, works, yep. Goku detects another person, like a sort of beacon, then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according to the Daisenshu guidebook, it's a dimension hop. You can actually see this in between space in some movies and games. And the mm. dubs wanted us to think it shot Goku's molecules around at light speed. Silly. Yeah, no, that's not a speed feat. Teleportation isn't a speed feat. Early dubs of Dragon Ball Z tried to rewrite Goku as a Superman figure. Even his famous speech on Namek about being the light in the darkness was originally about him coming to terms with his Saiyan heritage, accepting his anger and pride, avenging his people by defeating Frieza, and declaring himself the Super Saiyan. Hell yeah! If there's any scene that deserves the word epic, it's when he went gold. Super Saiyan. Yeah, that was, that was a, a great time to be alive, even though I wasn't alive at that time. <laughs> Still iconic though. Super Saiyan God certainly changed things up. Goku gained divine ki. Wait, what year did Goku go Super Saiyan? I'm actually about to look that up. Hands. Unlike normal ki, it can't be detected and appears to have healing properties. Kind of like Senzu beans. Did you know one Senzu has so much healing juice? Oh, eight years before me. 1991. I was born 99. <laughs> God, Goku reached a level of power that could compete with the greatest Still a time to be alive. I wish I was there to see it. With a single clash on his first go. Dragon Ball's cosmology is Wait, what they say? The universe reached a level of power that could compete with the greatest of deities, nearly shattering the whole universe with a single clash on his first go. Dragon Ball's cosmology is I hope they don't give him that feat alone though. That that took him and Beerus and Beerus was holding back like immensely. All of humanity went to heaven because Boo went But he's still way stronger so it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Just as large as a universe. And the Dizenchu backs are up. And uh, that's heaven, big planet. So let's scale things up with that in mind. Doing so would make Universe 7 over 1,500 times larger than our own observable universe. Yeah. Some people think that they equate that to multiple universes. That's still one universe. It's just as large as one. And he didn't lose that power. He learned how to use it even better, even in base form. Now, imagine how much stronger he became when he stacked Super Saiyan on Super Saiyan God and became Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Mm. Yeah, not saying that. Or after he trained with some almighty... <laughs> yeah, not saying that. When he perfected the blue hairdo and stacked Kaioken on top of that. Goku has certainly performed great feats with God Key. Breaking through Hit's time stop by forcing himself into the future. Holding off Infinite Zamasu, who was a sentient timeline. Defeating Jiren, who shook the entire world of Void by just walking. He even tried out Hakai. Why? I don't know why people use that feat so much. Look what it says Jiren at the bottom. The Null the Realm. Entire world of Void. It's a world full of nothing. I get it. You're strong enough. Your power is that strong to the point where everything's shaking. But what is that? That doesn't really equate to anything, honestly. It doesn't scale to nothing. It's a world full of nothing. It, it barely has any space. There's no real time in it. it. It's just a gang of rocks and platform and people. We know people can feel energy in Dragon Ball. So, like, I don't know why that is, like, such a big feat. I don't. I don't know why. But greater power levels in Dragon Ball can counter space-time abilities. Such as when Brew broke, um, I mean, Brew broke the hyperbolic. Yeah, when he screamed, Jiren over time power. But that's that's a pocket dimension basically. Put he puts you in a pocket dimension for it skips a tenth of a second. That's nothing compared to what Superman could do. So I don't know, I don't know. I feel like a lot of this stuff get highballed. But I digress. Your being and your soul erased from all of time and space, culminating in his greatest that's fact. form. That's facts. Hakai. Ultra instinct. Chrome Goku isn't a normal transformation, it's a state of mind. Ultra Instinct is the highest peak of martial arts, subconsciously making optimal choices because you're in the zone, doing without thinking. Something Goku has always been training to do. Technically, it can be used in any form, but when perfected, Autonomous Ultra Instinct makes you untouchable. No matter what comes mm, in way, Goku will... Not necessarily. Die. It does, but it doesn't, because so that's a, a gas and granola, bruh. Because Gas was beating that ass in a... In what's it called? Oh, that's hard. I remember that. I remember that. But yeah, Gas was whooping that ass when he was in Ultra Instinct. He low-key one-tapped him out of it. Didn't he, like, poked him in his stomach, and then it was done. Until you get to Dragon Ball Heroes, a.k.a. Dragon Ball Fan Fiction Gone Kaioken times a thousand. Basically. technically a different continuity, CC Goku is not canon to stand in for the mainline Goku. His history and powers are the same, making his story just... Yeah, like Castle Court Goku is basically, technically, canon Goku, but 
This Goku used it's not a canon continuity, so you know. Time and dimensions. He outsped a god who could see the future. He defeated Dark King Fu, who was gonna rewrite the entire universe. Hell, this series even makes GT cool. Xeno Goku can break space time just by going Super Saiyan 4. Looking back at that goofy monkey boy chopping wood and punching dinosaurs, it's almost overwhelming to think about how far Goku has come, how much he's had to Yeah, I do like Dragon Ball Heroes, though. Dragon Ball Heroes is fire. He takes it head on and pushes through, showing everyone everywhere how to go even further beyond. <laughs> I like that. That was dope. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Geez, just a locomotive? People in the 40s needed bigger imagination. Born on the far off world of Krypton, the infant Cal L was sent to Earth by his parents. Big Superman. Krypton's destruction. Raised by farmers as Clark Kent, he eventually became Superman. Champion of the oppressed, the man of tomorrow. If you've only seen the movies, forget him. Comic book Clark's not the perfect Boy Scout, and he's definitely not Jesus. Wait, weren't the guys who made him Jewish? Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster were sons of Jewish immigrants and grew up in a time when anti Semitism went largely unchallenged. And then that ugly mustache showed up. Understandably <laughs> seeking escape from some truly terrifying horrors, the pair created Superman to be a simple solution to overwhelming Symbol problems. of hope. A hero who could defeat any evil by just punching it. Hell yeah, that's how I live my life. After almost nine decades, Superman has been many things. At the core, his story is one of a refugee, a child who lost his home, left to the mercy of alien people. This new world accepted him, raised him, gave him a new home, because helping others in need is the right thing to do. That's why he became a superhero, the first superhero. <laughs> Everything's gotta start the OG. Somewhere. But he was the first one to really Not multiverses. Oh, I remember that era. I can't wait to come back out. In fact, when Clark discovered his Kryptonian heritage, he struggled to accept it and subconsciously developed mental blocks. Severing I must hold back. Power, which he would uncover throughout his life. He's strong enough to shoulder press the weight of the earth for five days straight. Or Mind you, that was under a red sun for five days and red sun gradually takes away his powers. That's New 52. I remember that. Yep. Yeah. That's not how that works. He's fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in seconds mm -hmm. or even break the bonds of infinity. And keep up with the Flash. He's probably like the closest contender for it with Barry and Wally. Bro, just too damn fast. It's a good question, though. Superman's powers have fluctuated over time for a variety of reasons. However, for Death Battle, we take the characters at, at their, their best. best. Yeah, like how his breath is so powerful, he can sneeze away a Isn't that pre-crisis, like way before, like, damn near like Golden Age, I believe, right? So Golden Age, something like that. He can see through your own body and mind to Look, I got on the the, the G. Hey, look, I ain't, I ain't no Goku hater, bro. I got on the the Dragon Ball fucking uh, pajamas, man. Y'all talking about? I'm a fan. I just don't think Goku beats everybody, man. Simply put, Superman's powers defy physics. My favorite examples of this are when he rebuilt the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Or punched Brainiac so hard every version of him felt it through all of time. Damn. When he gained 10 years Imagine hitting a nigga so hard, all the alternate versions that you feel it. He was walking down the street in Universe 2. He was like, ah, oh, damn. My example is when he smelled brownies in North Dakota from orbit. Even beyond his powers, Superman is no novice when it comes to the intricacies of battle. He's trained mm -hmm. in Kryptonian martial arts, which uses G, or as they call it, tree arm. He even got summoned to Asgard to fight demons with Thor for a thousand years. Superman can resist being erased from existence, such as tainting dark. And Mr. Mixie's piddling. Retcon and the Time Trapper, both of which hijack and alter timelines, can't touch him. Not because of his power. I wonder if they gonna mention the Barbados or the World Forger uh, feats. Cosmic linchpin in the greater metaverse. Timelines literally revolve around him. But let's mm -hmm. address the S-shaped elephant in the room. You may have noticed we've covered a variety of Superman eras. Superman and That's when you fought Muhammad Ali. Have gone through multiple retcons. Oh, Superboy oh, Prime. Yep. I read that uh, in Crisis on Infinite Earths. And so on. I'm, I read a lot of these. The main Superman, right? well, all of them. They all are. Yeah, the latest reboots basically said everything in the main series is kind of canon. Even when he had wacky powers like changing his appearance with a... Super muscular control. Ugly as hell. I guess he can still phase through almost 
anything, even mm -hmm. people. Look, if you really dig into it, this isn't new. Plenty of characters have recalled events from supposedly retcon timelines before. Yep, yeah, infinite, uh, uh, infinite crisis. Wait, a crisis on infinite earth, or is it infinite crisis? Yeah, the one with uh, Superboy Prime. That tells you a lot about like the multiple timelines and all that shit too. Too many. I remember this, yeah, he was right there instantly. Motherfucker's too fast, bro. Superman defies physics. Like when he used heat vision to restart the universe by making an all new Big Bang. We've seen that his universe has a radius of at least a hundred trillion light years, but we can calculate a more exact figure. The DC universe is 15 billion years old and expands at 60 trillion light years per half second. Mm. This means its radius must be over 50 non million light years. The fuck is a non million? What? Bro, like you see, like look, look at this, look at the numbers and just the stupid shit they're saying. This shit don't make sense, bro. Like, this bro, bro's not meant to be fought. Like he's not. You could put Kratos in the shortest rap in this in the battle with him. He's still going in. Now, Superman does have weaknesses. There's kryptonite, of course, and exposure to red starlight can fade his power. After a while. Not all at once. He mm -hmm. has been able to move planets around while under a red star. Mm -hmm. no. And everyone knows Superman can't deal with magic. But yes, he can. He's just vulnerable to it. He be beating the shit out of magic users, though. Plenty of magic users before. Yep. Even Shazam. Superman challenges the idea that absolute power corrupts absolutely. He's the goodest good guy of them all. But there is nuance to being good. Even if he is the ultimate power fantasy, unstoppable and incorruptible. I remember that. That's when he was like, when he let loose on dark. Oh, they, they, they mentioned it. Who was in the sixth dimension, crafting a whole new multiverse to replace the one Clark calls home? Who's going to stop him? Superman could. I'm surprised I ain't said the Barbados one. So he was trapped on a world with a sun so distant he could never escape. Or so the forger thought. Instead, yeah, no, Superman, the bro. strength he needed to fly at that sun, dip through a ton of stars, KO the world forger, and shatter his new multiverse with a single punch. Because that's Superman. A simple solution to overwhelming problems. Is bro He's punching a light? To save a cat from a tree, answer Christmas cards from strangers, and tow hundreds of planets to a new galaxy all in the same day. What's not to like? Truth and justice He's just him, bro. Champion than the man of steel. He's just him, bro. That's just what it is. He's just him. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by BetterHelp. Wiz, it's getting to be the holiday season again, and I just know Mama Boomstick is it's that time. Let's we'll settle this. Like, let's what end this for all, bro. Once and for all. Undiscovered elements would be nice, but the holidays are also about giving gifts to yourself. Maybe that means giving yourself a break during this busy month. I'm tired of hearing this debate, bro. When you have the time. And in anticipation of a new year, sometimes that means therapy. Therapy can be super helpful year-round, but especially during this season, the holiday blues are no joke. If you're thinking about starting therapy, consider giving BetterHelp a try. What's great is that it's totally online, so it's super flexible with your schedule and convenience. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. And if it isn't a perfect match, switch therapist at any time at no additional charge. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DeathBattle today to get 10% off your first Death Battle. Alright, let's get it. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a Death Battle! I had that as my phone case. That Goku picture, that shit was fire. It's one of my old phone cases. Mmm. This animation is already fire. Today's the day. We'll finally settle who's stronger. <laughs> if you say so.
Yo, this animation is crazy, bro. Going crazy though. Mm. Goku is going crazy right now though. But this little thing like this is like tickling, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm. I hope they in the atmosphere because he can't breathe in space. Yeah, I hope they're in, like the stratosphere, like the atmosphere, or god damn. Cause yeah, like I said, Goku cannot survive in space. They they say that in the manga. Hmm. That's hard. Hold on, we gotta go back to those. That's hard. They showing like alternate timelines and then That's not a fair fight. Cosmic armor versus Xeno Goku. Hell no, that's not a fair fight. Cosmic like, armor clapping, but that's still a hard picture, nonetheless. Hmm. Well, what do you think? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> nice suit. Oh, uh, thanks. Kryptonian fabric. My mom made it for me. Hmm. <laughs> that was lucky about to take bro head off. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. That was hard. That was fire. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that's cold. That is cold. That is cold. They made him sun dip. I don't think he would have needed to be sun dip, but that's still hard. Yeah, obviously he's cutting right through that. Still cutting through it. Earth is getting destroyed though, for sure. That's destroying the universe though, for sure. And it's shattering space time, for sure. But only one person surviving that, and we know who it is. Huh? And there it is. <laughs> Almost had me there. That was actually pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. But I'll be stronger next time. I look forward to it. Let's go again. You're on. That's hard. I, I can't even be mad at it. W Susa. I I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry. I knew it. That was beautiful though. That was amazing. Animation was crazy. There are so many ways this battle could go, especially with all the other continuities. Yeah, for real. Goku would kick almost every other Superman's ass, except for the main one. There's a lot to cover. The main one is too crazy. Five categories most representative of this fight. First up, strength. Both could hit hard enough to break or make their whole universe. Or take it in stride like mm. Superman got smacked. Mm. I don't know. We've seen Superman do it by himself. We haven't seen Goku do it by himself. We've seen that with a destroyer. A literal destroyer. Dragon Ball's universe is 1,505 times larger than our own. But based on the DC Universe's officially established age and rate of expansion, it is 1.6 Vigentillion times larger. What the fuck is a Vigentillion? Vigentillion times more than Goku. And 
at some point you reach a number high enough that it just doesn't mean anything anymore. Anyway, Goku's obviously gotten stronger since the Beerus fight. Even by billions or trillions of times, he's defeated Jiren, Broly, Moro, and... Hey man, I mean, he, he needed help for Jiren at the end, but okay. Trillions or quintillions of times, the gap is just too much. Especially with the World Forger feat. Not even heroes can beat you that. Superman That's what I said. Strength. But strength isn't everything. Let's talk speed. Both are Take speed too. Faster than light, but Superman crossed that mega-sized universe of his in seconds and flew faster than infinity. Makes sense. He can keep up with the Flash, whose speed is so. I'm good. saying, bro. It's, 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 bro, this should be like a no-brainer. Flying across the entire afterlife in base form and outspeeding Eos's future sight takes some crazy speed. Fighting Zamasu as an omnipresent merged timeline also implies immeasurable speeds. That combined with instant transmission and ultra instinct. Instant transmission is teleportation, and that's not speed. Quantifiably, Superman is faster, but both are immeasurable. The mm -hmm. safest bet here is to say they tie in speed. Hell no. No. <laughs> no. No. Not even close, bro. Not even close. Not even close. Superman is... Come on, bro. Goku's a martial arts master. Tying his feet is insane, bro. Because all of Goku's... Like, literally all the shit they said was speculation. Nah, bro. I can't agree with that one. I'm sorry. But he's only used them a few times. It would be disingenuous to say he's an equivalent master at them. So Goku wins in skill, but not necessarily in experience. Don't get it wrong. Superman is questionable too. He's trained with Batman and Wonder Woman. He's even defeated martial arts experts like Cobra without powers. Goku has spent decades training, but Superman battled Norse demons for eight years. Yeah, the experience years. definitely goes to Superman. Astonishingly brilliant. Like when he reassembled the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Experience. Tying him on speed is insane to me, though. I'm not going to lie. Perhaps less obvious is our last category powers. Okay, spirit bomb, Mafuba, instant transmission. God that speed part, I think Superman definitely outspeeds by like too much. Flying across the universe in seconds, Goku has no feat of doing that. Like that that heaven one is not even as close. It's not even as close. Not close. It's not close, bro. Mo moving faster than an auto second. Come on, bro. Come on, game. Superman takes it though. Mafuba and the spirit bomb would take way too long. And mm -hmm. Goku's never successfully used Takai before. Even if he yep. did later, like Superman's impossible to erase from reality. Like, he's tanked Omega Beams, which do the same thing as Akai. Superman mm -hmm. can time travel, countering instant transmission's similar ability from heroes. And regarding teleporting him to a red star, ignoring the fact that Sans can't breathe in space, though Goku's certainly tough Thank you. to stand a vacuum, instant transmission requires another person to act as a beacon. He can't just warp to any red star. Even if he did, Superman could simply fly away and find a blue or white star for a supercharge. And Goku could not pull off the same trick twice, as Superman could phase through his attack. So that's it then. Clark has too many counters, so he takes the edge in powers and it's over. Well, Extreme strength power. I think he takes speed too. Goku versus Superman breaches a broader zeitgeist. It's more than just two characters fighting. For a whole generation, especially in 90s America, superheroes represented an unyielding status quo. Spider Man, yep. Batman, Captain America rarely change who they w are fight, or what though. they believe in. For a lot of people, that's tiring. And Superman is an icon of that. Then along came anime. There was a whole other world of ideas and stories for us sheltered westerners to experience, and Goku's an icon of that. Mm -hmm. So while many see this as a debate between characters, others see it as a debate of ideologies and culture. And if that's what's at stake, who wants Goku to lose? Uh, you're sure you're not overthinking this? It's not our intent, but it does call into question what we're doing. How can people agree with what we take as fact when fiction relies on interpretation? Yep. Are we stripping characters of their importance by simplifying them to contestants in a vacuum of violence? Exactly. And if so, then what's the point? Because it's fun, Wiz. Damn it, man. They both got a point. They both got a point. It is fun, but at the same time, it's like, damn, are we always just going to just put two characters against each other to fight to see who's stronger and better? It's all about the writing and, you know, stories and stuff like that to me, too. Worst pun. What? It fits them both. It's so lame. I don't see you doing any better. I do yep. know the pun's your job. Well, maybe if you math as good as that's three oh, buddy. That's three oh. That this done after this. There's no more needs to to make this a battle anymore. Hi, I'm Ben, a voice of Wiz. That was amazing, though. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a Death Battle member yet, click the join button below. That was amazing, bro. That was really good animation. Who's next, bro?
Oh, it's a finale too. Yeah, it's the end of the year. Galactus versus who? Unicron? Mm, that's a lovely way to end that off. Hold on, let me go back and see the comments. Yeah, bro. So like I said, Superman, man. Superman for the dub. Superman's for the dub. Uh, I love that um, they ended it off in a very great way to settle um, like the differences once and for all. But like I said, I don't see them violently beating each other up. I see them becoming friends, like how to end, how they did it. But Goku definitely doesn't win this fight. And when they said, uh, oh, you can beat other versions of Superman, maybe like the ones that was like hurt by bullets like back in the day and stuff, but it's still like other versions that, because I don't think he beats Ultraman. I don't think he beats, um, what, is that? what else? It's a lot of Superman I don't think he beats. But main timeline, yeah, I don't think Goku's going to ever beat him. I, like I said, there was a few things that I believe um, that just outscales Goku on a so like at such a high level. It's kind of hard for you to put them together in a fight. I still believe that the the speed feat goes to Superman. I don't think that's a tie at all. I do not think that's a tie. Oh, oh, <laughs> me. This is great though. This is great to watch. I like sliding the scats and shit. I used to hang with them savages. Red beam on his accurate. RPG, we attacking him. Slot the one of them and wax the whip. Brand new glass with different gems. I'm him. I had to get to a bank roll. 